So I took this picture and I want to make it tellable. So I have exported it from Lightroom. And now we're going to take it into Mari. So let's let's create a tile generator scene. So I have this image plane here. I scale it to 10 and I froze it. And then I have a camera. I, I locked it in the only axis. I can only move it up and down. And I have it to focal length 150 millimeter. And also I set the format to square and I have this if I look through the camera, see I place it so that they touch the border there, like that, with the, um, what's to call this, the solution gate activated. And now we just want to export this, so I export this to as an Alembic, cache Alembic, export selection to Alembic. Make sure you have UV right on, otherwise you will not get any UVs. Export selection, and I also already have a, a plan there, so let's rewrite it. Export, yes, I want to replace it. Camera, yes, I want to replace it. So I imported the image here. Let's load the projector, and the projector I'm just gonna use more like a, a bookmark. So I can, if I tumble around, I can easily come back to that location and I had to set a scale to one and one there in the transform settings yeah so now let's just drag the this one and place it here can zoom out so if I hit the Z we can zoom out the paint buffer a bit so we can see where we're gonna place it so I have a paint buffer in 8k now because I'm painting on gonna do this on a 4k patch so so now we can just choose place. We can stamp it. So on the paint through, it hit stamp here. It's gonna flood the, and bake it down. So after a while, when it's baked here, now in 4K. So here we see it's, and what we can do is if we hit the patch here, select the patch, and go to patch and patch to image manager. And see, we get a, darker image there now and that's because the channel was 16 bits so now it's it's been linearized but we can tell it that it's linear now and it's gonna come back to the same value as before so now we can just take a, a tiled image and we can drag the extracted 4k patch into this and we can scoot the u and v repeat to 0.5 no I mean offset 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 0.5. So now we should have a seam in the middle. What we can do, we can just take the tiled node or a new layer. We can make a new layer on top and uh, clone the seams there. So we can make, take the projector and go back to that. We can zoom in here a bit and take this and scale it to something that's similar in size. Let's take a hard brush. And bake it down. Okay. So now let's bake this down. Say first. So let's take those two and merge them. And there we go. So now we have a new image there that's tileable. So let's take uh, the patch again, patch to image manager. So it's a linear. I have to set um, the rules here in the color management. So let's try this now and see. So hit the tab and say tile again and drag this one into here. And let's take the repeat. Tileable-ish, but as all tileable maps, if you repeat an X amount of times, you will see repetition so you might have to work with this but yeah that's a, a way to to use a plane so that's it for this time so you can help me out by submitting whatever topics you want me to discuss in uh, future episodes and you do it in the comments below so just just hang out there and fill out what what you want me to cover and see you in the next one bye bye